Beloved in Christ, during this season of Advent, as we await the great festival of Christmas, be it our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us hear and heed in Holy Scripture and sacred song, the story of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all his people, for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build. And because this of all things would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are forever one. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. Let light perpetual shine upon them. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May the Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ, give us the joys of everlasting life, and unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Angels bring us all. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all cattle, above all wild animals. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain shall you bring forth children, Yet your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And he said to Adam, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, 
and eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil shall you eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. The man called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Here endeth the lesson. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end, upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Here endeth the lesson. Oh, yeah.
A lesson from the book of the prophet Isaiah. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse. A branch shall grow out of his roots, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness. He shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lay down with the kid, and the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall feed, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The suckling child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand into the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Here endeth the lesson.
A lesson from the Gospel according to St. Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren, for with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Here endeth the lesson.
A lesson from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child of the Holy Spirit. And her husband, Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to send her away quietly. But as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Here endeth the lesson.
A lesson from the Gospel according to St. Luke. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told to them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them, but Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been made known to them. Here endeth the lesson. A lesson from the Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness of that light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. 
He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God the only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has made him known. Here endeth the lesson. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. 
O oh God, who makest us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of thy only Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as we joyfully receive him for our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God world without end. Amen. Christ, who by his incarnation hath gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, grant you the fullness of inward peace and goodwill, and make you partakers of the divine nature and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Oh.